Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. 12 box, full case, pick your team number two. Remember three filled, this filled, two filled after three. So if you're looking for one and three, it's already on our video lists. And if you're looking for two, you're in the right place. Now at the end of the break, we'll uh, do our usual two teams, one entry, so on and so forth for some break credit. Top five win $50 of break credit each. Right there, so we've got all sorts of fun stuff here, ladies and gentlemen, so let's get to it. There's the full case right here. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it right here. On Thursday the 17th. There you go. There you have it. And congrats to Andrew who won that non-sports spot. So this, there's, since there's no like veteran commons, you're literally getting everything in the non-sport, non-MLB, non-pro uniform spot. There you go. Let's do this. Let's pop this open. There you go. Tons of Ginter. Personals uh, on Instagram Live only at Jaspie's Breaks should have uh, should have what you call it more personals of Ginter if you want to get that done. So there's four boxes right there, four boxes right there, and the final four boxes right here. All right, this is what we're expecting out of each. If you get a rip card and if you're watching live and you would like me to rip it, I will. Although I feel like most people recommend not ripping it, but if you're feeling spicy, why not rip it? Rip it good. Whoa. It's too strong. What do you mean it's too strong? Hold on. Look Turn at all down the mic a little bit. <laughs> Here, I'm going to mute a little bit. Man, this is awesome, folks. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what's that extension? Whoa. A brush extension? <laughs> I'm about to brush your hair. Oh, man. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so the, the suction power is a little, a little too strong, but all right. Box one of Ginter. Good luck, everybody. So the Travis Scott deal, they're running out of hamburgers. Huh. Wasn't the quarter pounder already popular? <laughs> well, Rex, I would imagine if he's not from the the mid to late nineties, that that no other musician exists after that point. So, of course you've never heard of the guy. Although I have to admit, I am a fan of the rap. I didn't, I'm not super familiar with with Travis Scott. Like I know the name. I'm just like, oh, okay. I guess he's doing a McDonald's deal. I wish it was. Yeah, from my understanding, it's not even a special burger, right? Now, if Travis Scott was just like, oh, hey, here's how I like my McDonald's meal. I get this quarter pounder, but I get like this special. I don't know. This is, I get some get a special deal with it or it's like a new menu item, I would think that it's like, oh, okay, great. 
But no, it's just a quarter pounder. Oh, there's Nick. The Travis Scott burger? Yeah. It's something special, right? No, you it's gotta not... go up to them and say, check the check, send me. But what if, like, <laughs> what if it was just, like, I don't know, there's no, like, special sauce or special preparation no, to it, cheaper. right? No, it's cheaper. Oh, it's just cheaper. Yeah, it's like, I think it's a couple dollars off. I've oh. never had a hamburger from this I establishment see. called McDonald's, but if I did You've never had a McDonald's hamburger? No, I always go chick McChicken. Hmm, interesting. It's a one-time app, so show me this one McChicken video, and I just never ate it. No. Just never ate it again? You can't watch those videos. Uh, there's the Australian walking stick. Kind of looks like a stick. Oh, we got a Luis Robert and a relic. All right, nice Luis Robert for the White Sox. Adam Harper got the Robert straight up. The Pedroia. I don't know if we have any more. Is there any 75s in there? Oh, nice. So here's Dustin Pedroia, a relic uh, for David V and the Red Sox. Thanks. And I'm going to take a look at the backs of each one of these at the end of, of each box and see if any of them are hand numbered, which they could be. These are scary. I mentioned these yesterday, still scares me. Where monsters live, that's the closet. Oh, it's a quarter pounder with bacon added, I see. Interesting, that kind of sounds, sounds pretty good. There's the farmer, that'll do pig, that'll do. I see, and a barbecue cup for dipping fries. I do like to, oh, this is nice. There's the Kid Mero. There he is. From uh, that one uh, that one show on Showtime, right? Is this, is this Deuce and Mero? Which I enjoy, actually. Desus and Mero, that's right. Yeah, that's a fun show. I enjoy it. Rex wants to know if you're going to put any Bowman random teams up on the site. Maybe. Maybe. There you go. Some of the boxes have by Jadison. And he said that he has a bounty. If someone hits a one on one, he'll send him one of those custom BB chips. How many one on ones are there? I don't know, honestly. And then I told him, I was like, get it for breaking? And then I told him, I said, I was like, does the breaker get one too? Because technically, I'll have the one on I want to bet dollar chain. Oh, like, that. I got pretty close with the Boba Shadow and Yeah, I got to post that. I want a Ben Baller chain. It's just like so heavy, barely. Yeah, m like I'm gonna be breaking like this, all hunched over. So that uh, that kid Mero autograph goes to Andrew. He won that. What was that? I don't know how many Bowman Chrome we have to post, but if we have extra, it'll be a right. There you go. Shanghai Tower. Didn't uh, didn't Tom Cruise jump off that in a Mission Impossible picture? That was Dubai. Oh, was that Dubai? The uh, what should we call it? The Dubai Tower. No, it's called something that we all know. What's it called? Yeah. There's uh, the Brendan Rogers. Something. Wiz Khalifa Tower. Ren Rogers relic for the Rockies. I'll go to Jimmy Brandt. The Burj Khalifa. Oh, there you go. Cascade's got it too. Thank you. Yeah, the Wiz, Wiz Khalifa. On the Bengals tonight? I'm on the Bengals tonight. Plus what? Six. Plus six. plus six. Yeah, it feels like now I've. <laughs> oh, no, they're begging you to take the minus six Browns. You think so? Oh, okay, yeah. that makes me feel better then. 
felt like plus six suddenly feels like a square pick. Rookie quarterback on a short no, week on the is, road? I think it is a square pick. Yeah. But I think it'll be right. Because I think they want you to take the Browns, but everybody's betting on the Bengals because of last week's performance. Right. And the Browns look terrible, but the Bengals look good. Sometimes square picks can be the Sometimes right picks. Sometimes square picks are square for a reason. Square lives matter, too. Square lives do matter. But if you want to put a mini card, I guess I'll put mini cards. Here. Here's the box topper. And it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice Braves, Aaron Clark. Nope. It's a new box right there. These are dangerous because all the minis, the minis make it really slippery. Yeah. All right, next box. Good luck. These are the nine ways to get to first, by the way. Fielder's Choice is one of them. There's this rooster right here. The cock of the walk. Shine bright like a diamond. The swamp is also a location where monsters live. And there's a John Lester Relic for the Cubs, Jimmy Brandt with the Cubbies. There it is, there's the Burj Khalifa. It's huge. Do you think anything even happens up here or is that just an extension? Like where do- so You can go on the top. You can go to the very top? I don't know about the antenna or Oh, yeah, not the antenna, but like maybe up there? Yeah, I think so. But like where do the offices that's stop? Where, maybe like right here? That's the Tom Cruise scene, I think. Where you what are, are these Are these hotel rooms or are they, what, are, what is it? They put a fake butt on them in the movie to make his butt look bigger. <laughs> right. What, 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 is, uh, what does it do? Is it office buildings? Is it a hotel? I think it's just like, uh, yeah, office building maybe. I have no idea. What's in there? Cascade? We should go to Dubai. You want to go for the World Cup? Well, that's Qatar. I don't know if I want to go to Qatar. What do you mean? It's like right next to each other. Well, we can they like kill their workers working there? We can stay in. That happens at every World Cup. <laughs> you got to... the United States. Right, right, right. No one ever dies constructing stadiums in the United States. Is that sarcastic? SoFi, yeah. Oh, yeah. One person. One, one fell off the thing, and then yeah, there were like five COVID cases where they died. Yeah, but the... All for all to build Qatar a... The car was, like, really bad. Yeah, no, it was. I think, like, thousands. And plus they're, like, slaves. But, yeah, I'd go to the World Cup there. John Means. Yeah. I mean, when are you ever going to... When are you ever going to go to... Dubai? Like, yeah, that, that part of the Middle East. Like, just for fun. Like, when would you ever go? Probably. Probably never. Probably never. But if there was, like, a sporting event, you'd probably be like, yeah, okay. Like, that's an excuse to go. Do you think we could break at the top of the Burj Khalifa? Mike Tower is saying. Sure. I'm afraid of heights. Yeah. Oh, your Nick's afraid of heights. Oh, we could get picked up by a Rolls Royce, Cascade is saying, from the airport, if we're like famous group breakers. This is another terrifying one right here under the stairs. Where's the Steinway Tower? Chicago? Oh. On the southern edge of Manhattan. Steinway the piano? Yeah, I guess. They got enough bills to do that. <laughs> that piano money. Aren't there pianos like thousands? Tens, Tens of thousands, thousands yeah. A Steinway? We could, we could put a baby grand inside the shop. That'd be nice. I don't like pianos. Oh, wow. He doesn't like pianos. There's Raphael Devers. Mini Relic going to the Red Sox. David the Red Sox. Yeah, if there's, I guess if there's an Eagles road game in Dubai, we would go. That'd be pretty sick. You know what they're doing with all those stadiums in Dubai? They're making them like 
you can they they're making them like portable. Because like think about it, they're building like five stadiums out there. There's not like more than three soccer teams that are there in Qatar. That's the problem with the Olympics and the World Cup. They build all these stadiums and right. then they fall apart. Like right. the World Cup Brazil, all the stadiums are falling right. apart. They're being unused. Yeah, and they're not they're not taken care of. So in Dubai, they're apparently gonna they're they're almost like they're built in sections so they can ship it out to someone who wants to buy a stadium. That's, the next that's been built for you already. That's the idea anyway. Otherwise, that area is too sparsely populated to have like five world class World Cup stadiums. There's Yadier Molina. And that will go to the Cardinals. That will be for Jimmy Brandt. There's another box here. And another box. So there's another half a box here. Ooh, a box topper rip card would be pretty cool, Tyler. And we're still on the lookout for a rip card here in Pick Your Team 2. They should have a Mike Tower card in here, Mike Tower. I'm with you on that. I think there was a Mission Impossible where, where he went to Shanghai. Or maybe it was Hong Kong. Somewhere around there. There's a Moorish castle. Moorish. Where's that from? What line is that from? <laughs> Moorish. From a movie. Kazim. Now what kind of name is that? Moorish. Wow, that's kind of a cool Comcast Tech Tower. Looks pretty wild. What's up, Andrew? It's from the Robin Hood movie with uh, Morgan Freeman and, and Kevin Costner. Everyone remembers that one, right? It's too scary right there. It's Matt Olson for the A's. That's going to go to Josh Lucas. There's the uh, Abraj Albait Clock Tower. That looks cool, too. Sure. Look at that. That looks like Big Ben. Different kind of Ben. No, no skeletons in that closet. And a mini autograph, it's Patrick Corbin. Nats. It's going to go to Jim Bly in the Nationals. Oh, and I think this smaller box loader it was attached to this one. There's the Patronus Towers? That's, let me guess. Expecto Patronum. Guess. That's in, uh, no. Where do you where do you think that is? I think that's. I, I like that little. Give me the spelling. Walkway, right? That's Spanish, right? You think it's Spain? I'll say South America. South America, it is Malaysia. Oh. You got the hemisphere right. Yeah. It's on the planet Earth. I got that. <laughs> you got Earth right. 
Patronus? Why is that? <laughs> Expecto Patron. Remember the Patronus? What's that? It's from Harry Potter. I've never seen that. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How many Harry Potter movies are there? Like, seven. I've never seen a single one. Before. Eight, maybe? Yeah. Maybe the seventh the seventh book is turned into two movies? It was eight movies? It's a lot. How, how many years apart did they make them? Isn't I think Harry it took, Potter looked like a 30 year old? It took, it took them like a decade, yeah. No, like you literally grew up with them. Like movie one, like Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson were like. 10 years old or something and then by the end of the movie they were like 20 <laughs> a little mini Lindor alright there that'll go to the Indians Adam Richards no, just take this mm. just take this I'll just take that take that half first here's half alright then you got Fantastic Beasts with uh with, with that one guy, um, we got Conseco right here. Conseco mini the Harry frame Potter auto. World? Yeah, the Fantastic Beast is in the Harry Potter world. That's a prequel. I've only seen the first one. Um, so it's like a Hobbit to the border. Right? Yeah, there you go. Good analogy. That's uh, Oakland A's. Josh Lucas. Or is, or is a Hobbit? Is a Hobbit a prequel? Hobbit's kind of a prequel, I think. Where's that? Oh, that's uh. Is that New York? No, that's Chicago. Is that Chicago? I think. I do not. I do not know where the Hancock, the John Hancock Center is. I think that's the formerly Sears Tower. It doesn't say anything about the Sears Tower, but yeah, that's the John Hancock right. Building. Yeah, it's Chicago. Nailed it. There you go. Nailed that's it. That's formerly Sears Tower, I believe. It does look like Sears Tower. They haven't called it Sears Tower since they. What? Are you serious? Sears Sear is bankrupt. They're closing. There's Ludus Guriel relic. So that's like me calling stadiums by their old names. Yeah. It's like uh, the It's like saying AT and T Park. Yeah. Park. <laughs> calling it three com. Yeah. Or calling it Coliseum. Or right. Oh, someone's gonna. It's just gonna. Ring. They're just gonna let it ring. All right, where's the Wilshire Grand Center? That's in. Uh, that sounds like L.A. No, that's in uh, Miami. What? Downtown L.A. Come on, man. Wilshire and Grand. I never go there. It's right at Wilshire and Grand. Oh, no. It's like right next to the new Ritz Carlton and everything. I guess Wilshire should have. <laughs> should have clued you. Yeah. Well, they they built the new Ritz Carlton there, and they built like something else there. Yeah, Where where's the Lakta Center? Lakta? That's uh, Sweden. Sweden? I don't even know if they have a building that's all there. I don't know. That sounds like that sounds Germany? southern to me. Oh, oh maybe like Germany. America? I was gonna say like India, but. I think it's Ger Berlin. Now it sounds. Now I can see where it Berlin. sounds kind of sounds kind of German. Berliny maybe or Sweeney. The second tallest structure in Russia. Oh. There's a sports center and a children's science center. That's where like Drago trains and that sport. That sports Russia center. Has child science centers. <laughs> Who knows what's happening there? They're they're just breeding future athletes. That's like Stranger Things. That's that's where they're building. Uh, yeah, they're building future athletes. Yeah. I've never seen Stranger Things. I've seen Harry Potter, but not Stranger Things. Um, there's a hand numbered card right there that Strasbourg is hand numbered. 10 out of 25. <laughs> yeah, also, Putin's Russian group break operation is there too. What's his big hit call? Duh. Which is just yes. Uh, that's my card now. 
in Russian. <laughs> it's my card now. <laughs> this card is mine's now. <laughs> Another Luis Robert base card for the White Sox, Adam Harper. More. <laughs> nom 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 nom. All right, so this is the second half of that box that I grabbed from earlier. Let's see if we can guess where more buildings are going to be. All of those buildings go to you, Andrew C. All those non uh, non baseball cars will go to you. It's a lot of fun. I think we've got another building coming up. Should I fill the next one, or should I just leave it? Uh, leave it. See what happens. I don't know for now. We know where the Patronus Towers are. We learned about that in Malaysia. Sorry, Ernie Banks. I'm gonna check the back of you in a bit. Huh? Does that sound like a cow? Yeah, kinda. Pretty good cow? <laughs> kinda, I guess. <laughs> I thought a cow accidentally walked in. <laughs> We'll, we'll look at those fortresses a little bit later. We gotta do buildings first. I was driving through Colinga. <laughs> oh boy. Andrew McCutcheon, Phillies, Jim Bly. The cow says. Someone's watching this group break at a farm and they're like, what? It made all their cows wake up. Yeah, the cow's like, what? Oh, let me look at the backs of these. All right, nothing numbered there. Let's look at this box loader here. Check that corner there in case it's especial. There we go. No, it's not. Just a regular Aaron Judge. All rise. Yankees. Brett. Here's the next one. Half a box. Full box. And we've got Christian Vasquez. Christian Vasquez relic for the Red Sox. That's going to be for David V. And there's a mini Jordan Alvarez, not numbered, which will go to Matt Stubblefield and the Astros. Where's the Willis Tower? We know where the John Hancock Center is. That is in Chicago. Oh, that, that looks pretty. I'm gonna kind of go there. Maybe next time we're at the National in Chicago, we'll visit the John Hancock Center. Take a look at the 360 views. Do a little touristy thing. Be tourists. Brett Gardner for the Yankees. His psycho bang, banging on the top of uh, the roof of the ceiling of his uh, dugout. That's what he does. That goes to Brett with Brett. We know where this is. Here. Come check that out. You can come visit us and check that out. Oh, so this is that this is the old Sears Tower, Nick. The Willis Tower is the old Sears Tower, not the John Hancock Center. Ginter is great. Every year, folks, we, we are learning some excellent trivia, filling, filling the hard drives of our brain with useless information to try to win pub quizzes. Uh, the Wilshire Grand was there, too. Ryan H. was saying a few minutes ago, Many bars around there where he's been incapacitated.
Monsters live in a cave. And in the sewers. Sean Casey right there. I don't have a good horse sound. That's a horse right there. The horse says... And this mini is an autograph. It's an Aquino. John Hyanga. John Hyanga with the mini Aquino autograph. Nice. Not numbered. But still pretty cool. I like the frame design this year. It used to be pretty plain a few years ago, but they've upped their design game. We know where the Lakta Center is. Right? In Russia. That's where Putin does his group breaks. Yeah, I'm, I do want to visit any all of these buildings, Mike Tower, but no, I am not interested in visiting any of those places where monsters live. Don't monsters live? Well, they live within our cases, but those are like happy monsters. Right? Those are happy monsters live in our boxes, you know what I mean? I don't want to visit places where there are scary monsters. I know I, I dislike that uh, the 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 first to fill like case thing, but I wish they things would go in order. But it's first to fill, first to break. It happens sometimes. Javier Baez for the Cubs. Well, I think we got a new tower on the bottom right stack right here. Tower we have not seen before. Maybe we saw it yesterday, but not in this particular break. Not here in Pick Your Team 2. Good luck, everybody. It's Gary Sheffield right there. And that is a bumblebee. These are, these are nice, I guess. Where is the... We know where the Shanghai Tower is. Los Angeles contains some of the scariest monsters on the planet, mostly in OC. Well, those are two different, complete, two completely different places. LA is not the OC. The OC is OC. It's, it's a weird place. There's a professional skateboarder. I'm not familiar with this guy, but Nija Houston. I'll go to the non-sports spot, Andrew. That one. What do you think the Dodgers are going to have to play first? Now, how, how dare you continue to associate the disgusting OC with the greatness of Los Angeles, Ryan H. The greater LA area maybe goes to Long Beach, maybe? But after that, it's Orange County. That place is weird. Just ask Sean Jaspi, who's from the OC. And you're like, oh, I get it now. There's another Luis Robert. He's the best skateboarding guy right now, says Johnny Cannon. He's been a monster since he was five? Wow. Everyone's moving out of LA and SF, says Rex. Good. Keep it up, folks. Get out of here. I want less traffic, better housing prices, you know, less smog. I'm just, I just want the real LA people who grew up here to be here, not transplants. No, Cascade says no. Stay away from California. You guys are effing it all up. I think in in Boise, 
Idaho, I want to say, I feel like a lot of like Californians are moving to Boise, Idaho for some reason, and they're trying to pass like laws to like, to, I don't know, to somehow limit them. I mean, which is kind of like, illegal, I guess, but trying to limit them from coming in. Hey, there's Cook, 21 out of 25. Like Kelsey, I think. Kelsey Cook, a comedian and professional foosball player. Apparently, she's easy on the eyes. Well, I don't know. This is like this is like an artist rendering. Oh God, Kel No, who? Oh, who's Casey Cook? Kelsey Cook. Hi there. She's got a nice smile. She looks like she's funny. All right, there you go. Yeah, she's easy on the eyes. I don't know if she's funny or not. I don't know if I like her or not yet. Yeah. Like, is she funny? That's that's good. Is she good at foosball? I mean, that'll be impressive to me. But, I mean, pretty faces are a dime a dozen in L.A., Nick. You know this. Steinway Tower is in, yeah, Manhattan. We, we saw that. I think we got a new building down here, Nick, that we haven't seen before. First of all, here's Ryan Braun, piece of his jersey, going to Rory and the Brew Crew. Oh, Nick Stover would gladly have Californians in Chicago so the Jaspies Midwest branch can open up. We were talking about that the other day, Nick. We were just like, it's too cold, winters. Nick, 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 Nick uh, spent some time in New York. He was like, I'm over shoveling snow out of a driveway. He's not into that anymore. There's a better shot at Nick moving to like Vegas. Oh, yeah. And becoming a becoming a, 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 a tout. And we've got the Comcast Tech Tower. I think we did see this. I didn't see it though. But I didn't I don't remember where it where it goes. Where do you think this is? The Comcast Tech Tower. Comcast has to be in Sounds like United States, right? Now, where may, that may be the Comcast corporate office? Yeah, where is the Comcast? I'll com say Boston. It sounds like East Coast. Boston. I wouldn't be surprised You're if getting New a, York You're getting an honest. East Coast vibe, a New York vibe, a New England. New York. All right. It is in Philadelphia. Oh, it's the tallest U.S. building course. outside Manhattan or Chicago. Of course. It houses several businesses, including I mean, a hotel and restaurant the, on the top floor. Citizens Bank Park. Yeah. Oh, can you see it from this? Pretty sure, yeah. It's in the skyline. I knew it was East Coast. I knew. Yeah, it was you got, a, you got, you got East Coast. I got that. You got East Coast. Yeah, all Oliver and Stephen K were on top of that. Ray's like definitely not Boston though. There's Jordan Alvarez. Well, I, let's not say it's terrible. Yes. I can't put put that in there, but that'll that'll ship safely to uh, Stubblefield, I think. Yeah, Matt has the Astros. Yeah, I'm not great at guessing towers. I'm working on it. Hey, this is we're all learning, folks. This this is the great thing about Ginter. Is that we're is that we're all learning new things. I think we've seen all the towers, by the way. I'm seeing repeats. What about this terrifying safari site? Crocodile. What's that tall, pointy one that everyone proposes at? The Empire State Building? I feel like there's a lot of romantic proposals that happen there. Like in Sleepless in Seattle. Behind Di is Hoskins. Speaking of Philadelphia, Jim Bly. Nick, do your best tractor impression. The tractor goes. There you go. There you go. I wish. Uh, I wish we could hit a fossil card or whatever they call. It. Yeah, maybe a. Do they have those this year? I think. I think they have some DNA cards. Love in there. to get a. Oh, the DNA cards are cool. George Washington piece of hair. I think it's like a woolly mammoth DNA or something like that. Uh, and then they say it's fake. Oh, do they? Yeah. Didn't we hit a. Uh, Who's the guy that everybody tries to see but never sees? What? Fictional character. That sounds like a riddle. Fictional character, hairy, scary, 
Harry Houdini? Loch Ness Monster kind of thing, but forest. Oh, uh, not Harry and the Hendersons. He's a Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Right. Which I think is, is, is racist to say. We know where the Empire State Building is. Bigfoot is racist? <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you think Bigfoot wants to be called Bigfoot? No, he's like, he's like bro, I'm a Sasquatch. <laughs> no, Bigfoot, they do a Bigfoot. They have done a Bigfoot. Game. No, I mean, that's like, yeah, no, you can't just say Bigfoot like that. That's not your word. <laughs> that's their word. <laughs> the Willis Tower. Some, some still refer to the Will Tower as the Sears Tower. No, they've done George Washington DNA before, too. I, I don't know how they authenticate it. The horse says... No, you're passing on the horse? You don't have a horse sound? Oh, and look at there. Our first rip card. 43 out of 75, Don Mattingly. Yankees, Brett Deacon, we'll give you the option. We'll give you to the end of the break, the end of the video, to see if you want to rip this or not. You know, so you have the option, folks. Welcome to America's Favorite Game. Rip it or keep it. That's what it says on the card right there. What do you do, folks? Ray says rip it. Rip it. Nick says, rip it. Tyler Brenner says, rip it. <laughs> Mrs. Bossman says, keep it. Rip it. Nick says, rip it. There's uh, James Paxton, who I think is out for the rest of the season and going to be a free agent. Rip Yankees. Just say this <laughs> Oliver says, rip it. Ryan H is Bop It? Twist It? What's the, what is that game called? Bop It. Bop oh It? Oh my gosh. Whoa! What is that? I, I'm not even looking at there. There's like a button there. That's it. Is that a presidential button? Like we from an old campaign? Well, but we're going to get into politics. Right oh now. boy. We don't this like... A very polarizing politics. We know where this is. We got the Edinburgh Castle. In Scotland. The cornstalk says. Nice. That was that was you nailed it. That was dead on. You nailed that one. Yeah, you don't go in the cornstalks show. You get murdered. Yeah, you don't go into cornstalks. Scary movies have taught me anything. You don't go into cornstalks. You don't go into cornstalks. Remember uh I forget maybe it was Goodfellas or Casino, there was a movie where where Joe Pesci got got murdered by the mob in a corn sock, cornfield, I think. I think it was Casino. Pretty sure it was Casino. But yeah, he got... He got killed in a corn stock. Monsters come out of corn stocks. Children of the corn come out of corn stocks. Corn stocks. What about a quiet place? I'm sure, there's corn stocks there. Luis Robert box topper, nice. That is based on a true story. I think that guy is still alive. Ace Rothstein, or maybe not. Maybe he's dead now. But Casino, the movie with uh, Robert De Niro as as a. Uh, it's running a Don't casino for the it. mob. I'm not gonna run it. Just... It's Ace is High with Ace Ross Come on, Ty Taipei 101? Oh, that's in uh, Taipei. I've actually traveled. You, you've been there, yeah. Taipei, Taiwan. Taiwan. You might, you prob you've you've probably seen that tower. Probably that. After hallucinating after 2015 ball in the past. Oh, yeah. At two, like, from like midnight to 9 a.m. Yeah, that was that was very weird. Got kicked out of a place. That was terrible. What? Got, me and my dad got kicked out. Of where? Of a uh, Taipei lunch place. How did how did that happen? I don't know. I think we were profiled. The pig says. That's right. 
Absolutely. No, it's one of those, you know those lottery ticket machines where you push the button to get a lottery ticket? Like sure. They have a grocery store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what it you're talking about. It was like one of those, but for food, Aranola you push the thing and then it, tickets come out and then you hand the tickets to the person. And they give you food? taking too long or something because it was all in, you know. In English. Chinese, yeah. Yeah. That, that was a bummer. Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> and everyone's just like Americans, of course, just going to McDonald's instead. And you guys are no, we were gonna try the local food, but <laughs> we didn't know how to do the tickets. Should have taken a travel guide with you. Maybe it would have said. Yeah, that was not provided by the company. No. Who my captain? Uh, I captain Joe Mixon. Really? I think so. Non quarterback is spicy. Or maybe AJ Green, yeah. Well, everyone's going to pick a quarterback. That's true. So you just hope that AJ Green gets like 120 like, yards on five like catches. It's like six three, you just win a million dollars. <laughs> I'll take those last two boxes. All right, hang on. Drop third. Chrysler strip. building, that's New York City. Yeah, it sure is. I've been there. I've been there. Often mistaken for the Empire State Building. Mm, wrong. Just like how the Capitol building is often mistaken for the White House. I remember on my White House uh, trip. Go. The chicken says. No, All the kids A dark the tunnel? Thought the, uh, Oh, dumbs. Dumbs. Where are they now? Nowhere. Where are they now? Nope. Working at that, that delicious deli in Westchester. There's David Price relic for the Dodgers. Kevin Parker. That deli is delicious. It is. Good sandwiches there. There's Otani Mini. And we've got Nolan Arenado going to the Rockies, Jimmy Brandt. You're for the heat, huh? Mm-hmm. Actually took them plus the points too. Two and a half, two, three points. All right, next box. Was this the one with the button? No. Yes. It was. There it is. There's that thick card right there, some sort of button. Luis Robert for the White Sox, Adam Harper. Jordan Alvarez, rookie card for Matthew and the Astros. Miami up 9-7 early in the this Eastern Conference final game, folks. We got an autograph. It's Charlie Morton for the Rays. That's going to be for Aaron Clark with Tampa Bay. <laughs> Classic. And then they try to freaking suck the money out of them. Oh, they did they really? Sequel. Wow, those parents did that. They yeah, just couldn't. They, 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 they just couldn't enjoy it. their one viral no. video. They were just like, we have to monetize our kids. Yep. Unbelievable. That kid's probably thirty. Now. Disgusting. 
He's like signing at shows and stuff. Jeez. Who's the real star? The baby who bit him or the kid who said Charles? Who's the main <laughs> character? If Maybe the kid who said Charlie. But without the baby who bites him, there is no Charlie thing. It's like chicken or the egg. Yeah. Uh, BD, there's Brett Deacon. Yeah, you have the Yankees. Your options are yes or no. <laughs> you rip it and see what's inside, and then yeah, you get both. I don't even know how to rip these ones this year. You get what's inside and the Mattingly, obviously. So it obviously, if you pull Mike Trout mini in there, it doesn't go to the Angels. It goes to him. It goes to you, yeah. Yeah. So this card and whatever's inside still goes to you if you choose to rip it, or you, you cannot. Can I think that I think most people tend to think that. Leaving it unripped has the most value, but what would I do? You're asking the wrong guy. My job that's is like, my like, job is to rip things open. It's like the blackjack dealer. Uh, yeah, that's like that's like asking the cookie monster, like, oh, would you eat this cookie or not? And cookie monster's like, I'm a cookie monster. Like, I'm definitely gonna eat the cookie. But is that the best value for it? I mean, I don't know. You know, I don't know because a lot of times people say the unripped card has carries the most secondary but market value. Red ink auto but if you don't care about secondary market value, then you can rip it. I don't know. That's up to you. You know, maybe do some research. See what other ripped cards are going for. Maybe there's been more Don Mattingly ripped cards that have been pulled. Oh, there it is. Obama. Thanks, Obama. There it is. A 2012 presidential button. That's pretty cool. 15 out of 24. That goes to the non-sport spot. That goes to Andrew. Yelich sold for 76. Um, there's box hopper rip cards there. Yeah, there's box hopper rip cards um, too. 72 for Rizzo, 77 for Molina, 181 for Trout, 76 for Juan Soto. Yeah, looks that's like, pretty cool, Andrew. Looks like Mattingly, one sold for um, something below 149. All right, there you go, BD. Some some pricing com, com, uh, comps, comparables for you. So it's like around 100 bucks probably. Now, what can you get inside? Exclusive stuff, I think. Exclusive stuff. It's not guaranteed, though. But an exclusive in there could probably get more than 100 bucks, more than 200 bucks. Or it could be $10. Or 5 or whatever. Who knows? It could just be a Garrett yeah, Cole mini, mini card mini in there. Parallels. Are the mini stained glass inside there, maybe? Yeah, remember Top said that they didn't put them in the regular packs and they all ended up inside... The rip cards. That was a there could be red ink autos. I manufacturing believe. error. It could be the metal minis. Uh, Jason had a metal mini yesterday. Mm -hmm. Someone ripped on Instagram. So yeah, BD, it's up to you. I know the chat is giving you their feedback as well, well but ultimately, chat, of course, is going to say rip it. Ultimately, it's up to you though. Oh, he's going to leave it unripped. Okay. Check it out. Look at it. Is that a Mike Piazza rip card? I'm no, waving it out. Oh, gosh. Oh, you Mike ripped Piazza. a Mike Piazza rip card? Mike Piazza. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Mike Piazza <laughs> came a Mike Piazza. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So there's, there was another example right there. He says leaving it unripped, BD says. Okay. Fair enough, BD. Now, if you once you receive the card... And you choose to uh, you, and if you then get the itch to rip it, then I hope you can let the crew know what you ended up getting inside. There's Freddie Freeman, box topper, box loader.
All right, here's the next box. Yeah, so in case you didn't hear, for what it's worth, Jason Jaspi in a uh, personal box got a Mike Piazza rip card. What was the Piazza number to, the rip card itself? Okay. So just for reference, the Mike Piazza rip card to 75, he ripped and it was Mike Piazza mini inside. There's Luis Severino for the Yankees. That'll go to BD. There's this actor and comedian, Jeff Dye. I'm not familiar with Jeff Dye. Yeah, well, yeah. I we, we pulled a box topper, a few Luis Robert base cards, but no hits, nothing numbered, and no other White Sox at the moment. of these. Interesting. If a Babe Ruth relic ends up in this break, says BD, who has the Yankees, then maybe he'll consider seeing that rip. Yes, there could be mini uh, uh, metal rip card, or many mini cards in there too. Metal minis? Metal minis in there too. Trip me up for a little bit. There's Jordan Alvarez. Yes, I think that was from last year, Mike. You might remember from last year. We were talking about, oh, could we put a magnet to the card and figure out if there's a metal mini inside? Which I still think you can. <laughs> I think you can do that. There was all, remember last year, Mike? I'm pretty sure you were around last year when we were talking about how, like, Someone was like, oh, if you put a powerful enough flashlight against it, you can kind of see what's inside. Which I don't know if that was confirmed or not, but there's a cheetah. There's Kyle Lewis. a way to get on to first. Taking one for the team. Bichette will go to Max and the Blue Jays. Yeah, the flashlight discussion. Oh, you can? Go Tigers is saying you can confirm that an iPhone light works if you put it right against the rip card. But then what information do you get from that? Can you actually see if it's autographed or not? Or... I guess maybe you can tell if it's metal or not, if you can see into it. Yeah, last year's. Yeah, I don't know. They may have changed the, the packaging this year. A Ricky Henderson relic. Nathan, if you're new here, check out our Frequently Asked Questions page that Nightbot just dropped. I would, I would read that. And then keep an eye on that break schedule right there too.
that Nightbot just dropped. All right. I didn't miss any big names in these little minis, right? I don't think so. All right, let's see if there's any are numbered. No, nothing numbered on the back there. Box topper. And it looks like we just have two boxes left. And there's Bryce Harper. What about the Kremlin? Call you the Kremlin? Yeah, I think the Kremlin is in Russia. It's in, it's in Moscow, yeah. That's like where their fake Congress is. I don't know. Gremlin is is a is is a crazy hungry creature. You know, in like child horror movies. The uh, the Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a psycho. <laughs> that guy. If that goes, if that guy's walking on the sidewalk, I'm immediately going to the other If side I saw the Hamburglar walking down the street, I'm definitely walking the other way. I'm crossing the street and going to the other side of the street. Look at the ham. Look at the ham. Let's look up the Hamburglar, everybody. Look, he wears like a weird Zorro hat. He's got like a cape. Who wears a cape? He only has one tooth, probably from drinking too many sodas. <laughs> and he's stealing hamburgers from you, like all bad things. Don't take my hamburger, hamburglar, you creep. You think he does? Please. Please, let's take a poll of the ladies here. That's like being on the Showtime Lakers. Come on. Come on. I feel like the I feel like the women in the office would go for grimace before they go for the hamburglar. There's DJ LeMayhew for the Yankees relic. Grimace actually seems like a nice guy. Well, you think you think you think the ladies like the Hamburglar? What? Because he's like a bad boy, <laughs> like he's dangerous. Because he's a bad boy, maybe. Yeah. All right. They're like, ooh, he's a criminal. That's sexy. He probably drives like a black Corvette or something like that. Probably drives a black Ferrari. Probably drives a black Ferrari <laughs> and tinted windows. Chris has things to use. Don't, don't. Here's Luis Robert Mini for uh, Adam and the uh, White Sox. Mike Tyre, what about Mayor McCheese? You think Mayor McCheese is the most successful at intimate conquests? Yeah, what's the yellow bird? What is her deal? Yellow bird? Teddy said there's a yellow bird. I don't even remember all those characters. There's only a couple. See, there's, well, there's Ronald McDonald. Oh, Hamburger yeah. probably freaks her out. Yeah, there's Ronald Grimace McDonald, there's Grimace, Grimace, Grimace Hamburglar, Grimace and like the, who's the, who's the yellow bird? She's, he's getting, he's getting a little too close to her. Yeah, you think Grimace gets just me too <laughs> Uh, Birdie the early bird. Birdie the early bird? Man, that's what we should call our early bird program. No, oh, get, get sued by McDonald's. That'd be great. Wendy is the bird. Well, which is it, Birdie or or, or Wendy? There's Birdie you say the Kikuchi. Birdie the early bird. Weren't there? There were kids too. There. What were the little guys? What were the little characters? I feel like there were small characters. Were they like fry guys or something like that?
They were McNugget buddies, but they looked like fries. Yeah, fry guys, I think. Hey, Frankie. Yeah, Ben Baller for us has been great. Yeah, we've heard some of the other stories, but we must have gotten the good batch, at least for now. <laughs> There's Jack Flaherty relic for the Cardinals, Jimmy Brandt. Those little guys were nuggets? Oliver says fry guys. And we gotta look this up once and for all after this break. Where are those characters? I feel like the, those characters are not in, uh, in advertising anymore. Like they may be on a Happy Meal, but... Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. I think I feel like a mini card on, or a mini frame card on the back of my hand. It is. It's four out of 10. Labor Day. What? What is? Oh, I see. This is a cloth card. They print it on the cloth, cut it out, popped it in here. There's only ten of them. It's pretty cool. Oh, there were both Fry Kids and Little Nuggets. Says Andrew. Nut. McDonald's new hot sauce for their McNuggets. It's so hot. Too hot? I like hot. But not if I can't taste anything hot. What's the point? Oh, I thought it was actually a spicy nugget, not a sauce that's spicy. Hmm. Then I'm not that intrigued by that particular product anymore. Oh, silk. Is that what that's called? Not cloth? Sil some silk? Silk card? All right, last box coming up, which I think is the hot box. After this. <laughs> Safari cards. <laughs> it's Cody Bellinger. Pajama penguin on the bar. Pink pajama penguin on the bar. Pink pajama penguin on the bar. Minis. And of course, all of these will ship because these are parallels or hot boxes. A little, a little more of a a chromey sort of feel to it, chromio sort of feel to it. Nice Bichette and Kyle Lewis. Kylo is for the Mariners. That's for John H. What do you call it? Are these glossy cards? Yeah, I like Romeo too. Uh, Max and the Blue Jays. Correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only one hot box per case digital. Oh, BD's in on the Chromeo too. All right. This, this is the scariest one. Atrax, his brother? That I did not know. Huh.
And who is a world champ at 13? Digital? There's the attic. Oh, A track, yeah, and okay. A track has a there's a great uh yeah 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 remix that A track did, Off with Their Heads, I believe is the song. The A track remix is quite good. And this is pretty good. Anthony K, Mini Auto, and with a John Means in the background. And a Jock Peterson relic for uh, Kevin and the Dodgers. Nice, Frankie. Thanks. All right, so once we're done, a nice Luis Robert right there. Foil, chrome, chromio, whatever we want to call this now. So after I go through all this and the uh, little box loader there, then we'll uh, give away some money, and then we'll do a then we'll do a uh, recap, and that'll close things out. All right, so not a lot of hand numbered. Uh, Mini cars. We saw a lot more in the previous break that I did yesterday. It's all good. Nice Luis Robert. Adam Harper with that one. All of these will add up, Adam. No autos or anything like that, but we'll find them next time. All right, and Bo Bichette. Nice. There you go, Blue Jays, that'll be for Max. All right, so let's go back to this list right here, the team list. And let's see, if you bought at least two teams, two entry, two teams, one entry, four teams, two entries, so on and so forth, um, we'll take all those names, randomize that list of names, top five, get $50 of break credit each. So let's alphabetize, there you go. Everything by your first name, by column A. All right, so Aaron Clark, you got two teams, that's an entry. Armando got two teams. That's an entry. Jimmy, you got three teams. Two count for that particular entry. Jim Bly, two teams, one entry. John, two teams, one entry. John H., two teams, one entry. Kip, two teams, one entry. Michael Gallucci, two teams, one entry. Rory with two teams, one entry, and then Walter, two teams, one entry. There you go. So that's a list of 10. Half this list is going to get $50 of break credit after I randomize it seven times. Lucky seven times. Two and a five. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, there you go. Top five right here. Michael, Aaron, Jimmy, John, H, and Kip. $50 of break credit each going your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next Ginter break. Here's the recap. Almost forgot. Here is the recap. A lot of stuff right here. The Roberts and Relics. Minis inside frames. That was out of 10. That's a silk card right there. Mini Robert, Mini Kyle Lewis. 
Those were not numbered, I think. I think the only numbered mini I saw was a Brett Gardner from earlier. Know, we'll look. Some Alvarez's, some non-sport relics. Obama, like looks like a campaign button right there. 15 out of 24, that's pretty cool for the non-sport spot for Andrew C. Charlie Morton mini autograph. Got the Ginter rip card, that was uh, Don Mattingly. BD chose to keep it. We got rip it or keep it option right here. There's Kelsey Cook, it's 25. Nice Aquino mini autograph. Jordan Alvarez mini. Conseco Auto, Patrick Corbin autograph. All right, and there you go, and there you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was 12 box pick your team two of the brand new 2020 Tops Allen and Ginter baseball. There's more in the store, so check it out, and we can break some more. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye bye.